And so when students ask me or when people ask me, what does creativity have anything to do with chemistry? I think it has everything to do with chemistry. These small molecules, where they get released and how they get released and quantities to get they release, neuromodulate what our brain states are in when we are in a creative state, for example. So, so it doesn't matter who you are, if you're not brave, like nothing will happen. You have to take chances and overcome those inhibitions to, uh, of like sharing yourself, expressing yourself uh, to, to connect with people. Sessions oftentimes feel like speed dating. Like you sit down with somebody, it's like, hey, how are you? And it's, it's small talk. But every once in a while, it clicks. Within like five minutes, you meet someone, you're like, ah, I think we're the same. I think we're aligned. I think our tastes are the same. I think we're not going to get into many arguments about which direction the melody should go. There's only so many hours in the day and more often than not, that day turns out a little sour and it just doesn't really work. And then you sit there for eight hours and work on a song and with every note you write, you know, this isn't going anywhere. It's like the date. We're going to spend the best time we can, but we know we're probably not going to go on another one.